We have an ABC News exclusive now about how scientists are trying to predict and prevent shark attacks by tagging sharks and monitoring their movements. Will Reeve is on a boat off the coast of Cape Cod where they're doing the work. Good morning, Will. George, good morning. Not the best weather today. The conditions are a bit foggy, but apparently there are ideal or at least predictable conditions for shark attacks based on their behavior. At least that's the theory of two scientists as a part of their documentary forecast shark attack on Nat Geo that's airing on Nat Geo's Shark Fest next week. We went out and we found some sharks and saw whether the conditions have affected them. After a series of shark encounters off the Carolinas in 2015, these two scientists went on a mission. It's coming in fast, too fast. Now, Dr. Greg Skomel and National Weather Service meteorologist Joe Merchant are showing us firsthand how they're testing a revolutionary new theory on forecasting shark attacks. Joe believes a weather condition called a sea breeze may set off a predatory chain reaction, bringing nutrient-rich deep water closer to the surface, attracting tiny marine life that feed on the nutrients. Those small creatures attract larger fish, which in turn attract the ocean's largest predators, sharks, on the hunt for prey. At the same time, sea breeze conditions make for great beach days, drawing sunbathers into the water. We can use the weather to indicate what sharks are doing, we might be able to predict whether or not a shark attack can occur. I'm really excited to work with Greg to show him that my hypothesis is correct, that the wind and the weather have an effect on where shark location is. They say sea breeze at the sites of many of those attacks was a factor. Lead the way. So far, Skomal and Merchant have gathered data in the Bahamas, and today the research continues in Cape Cod. What are we hoping for? Well, we're going to get out of this inlet here, and uh, that's the primary hunting area for the white sharks, and we're hoping that we'll see one and then uh, get a tag in it. What level of confidence do you have that one day you'll be able to forecast when sharks are going to be near humans? I am very confident. Up above, a spotter plane stalks our target. So he's at 10 o'clock, 9.30 right now, the plane, and he's right over a, a white shark. So you're working in tandem with right. a plane who's seeing the sharks. Right. So we are going as fast as we can to find the shark that the plane spotted from above. Finally. Oh, I see it, I see it. A nine foot great white shark just feet from an isolated beach. This is so close to the beach. This is really close to where humans would be. Oh my God. Look how big that is. Greg takes his tagging pole to the front of the bow and waits for his moment. We're tagging a shark. Oh, wow. Got it. Oh, there's the fin. Once the tag's in it, we'll start learning from that fish. One of the things we're trying to do is get a, a sense of what drives the behavior of these sharks. Certainly it could be weather conditions, it could be water temperature. So we're testing all these various factors to see if there's any patterns, including Joe's ideas, that drive the behavior of these sharks. Sharks like James, a 14 footer and a regular at this beach every summer. He's dead ahead. This is a nice big fish. This is a real shark. <laughs> there have been dozens of shark sightings this summer and many more around the country. The ultimate goal of Joe and Greg's partnership is to make people smarter and safer about potential attacks. Nat Geo's Shark Fest kicks off this Sunday and it runs for three whole weeks. And on Thursday, July 18th, you can watch Greg and Joe in forecast shark attack, George. Will, what was it like the first moment you saw that gray white? I, I, it was mind blowing, it was surreal. You can't really comprehend. It's this animal, this creature that you've seen your whole life growing up, but then to be just feet away. Like, look at the thing I'm on right now. This is like just, I'm above the ocean and you're standing here and there's this apex predator just swimming languidly and peacefully right below you. It's really special and, and reminds you the power and the beauty of nature, really. Sure did. Power and beauty of nature. Yeah, special would yeah. not be the word that I would use. I... <laughs> well done, Will. But amazing. Well, well I was done. on the boat. That's why I was on the boat, so it was powerful and beautiful. If I was in the water, it would have been a different story. <laughs> <laughs> a different, a different word. Skipper John Good. keeping us safe here. Good. Yeah. That's good crew you have with you. Great job, Will, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.